My name is Aizuka Brita Linda. My name is Sache Juliet. I come from a district called Bushenyi. That's where I was born in some small village called Kakoni. I am the firstborn. We are three from my mother and then the six children are from my dad. I was living in a village in Gomba district and uh, I was living with my dad and my mom. After some time my mom died. In the year 1995, my father also passed on. I remained with my stepmom, with my other siblings. After some time, my dad was very stressed. He started drinking a lot of alcohol. My mom was very sad, always. She didn't want us to grow up in that kind of life. So she took us somewhere very far. A year after my dad passed on, because he's drink a lot of alcohol, so he got issues with his liver. It was... <sighs> Just when we thought things were get, starting to get better, he passed on. Sometimes I used to go to school, sometimes I didn't. The school fees, it was too hard for us to get school fees. She said, now what shall we do with her? Because she's glowing and if she's just there seated, the men here at the village are going to use her and are going to impregnate her and are going to leave her there, you know, make her a wife when she's still younger. I came to Kampala to work as a housemaid. I remember my mom had returned home from work. I'll never forget that look on my mom's face. They, they told her, you, your kids have gone through, they have got sponsors. She was laughing, she was crying, she was praying at the same time. As young as I was, I knew something good was starting to happen. For me, all what I wanted is to go to school and study. They laughed and said, no, go away, go away from there, we don't have space for you. I told them, you don't have space for me. May I talk to the head teacher? I said, I'm not going anywhere. So I waited, I waited at the gate, and they said, okay, you be there. I told her I don't have any relative here in Kampara. My aunt left me in Chireka, and now I'm tired of working for people because I cannot do it, I want to go back to school. Then in that school, she remembered that there is a ministry or an organization that sponsors children, and that is Vision for Africa. When the school was starting, they called her and told her, Julie has gotten a sponsor. <laughs> I was so excited. I said, oh my God. I said, oh, thank you, God. She called me to her office and told me, Julie, you got a sponsor. They are going to start sponsoring you. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's when I joined the new school and all the hustle was gone. Boom. After the four years of sitting, working here, working there, it was so good for me. My first time to enter into a class, I was not even believing it. I was like, oh God, I'm at school already. And God, I mean, I was so excited. I was full of joy. I said to God, give me wisdom, give me knowledge. Because since 1999, I was just home. When we entered Vision for Africa, life changed completely, completely. It's just like day and night, completely. Every day, I thank the Lord, every day. Every single day I wake up, I thank the Lord. I don't know, if he hadn't used Mamari, I don't know where I would be right now. I always wanted to see this person called Mamaria because I always wanted to see her and I always wanted to talk to her. I always wanted to really, really appreciate, appreciate her. Plus, my sponsor, this person was there to sponsor me. In the, he or she never gave up sponsoring me, even though the person did not know me. We looked forward to receiving our letters from our sponsors. That was like the greatest time to reply. We were so excited. And here I am right now. I'm working at Vision for Africa High School. I'm the secretary there. I work, I love my bosses. Everything is great here. I am very excited about every single day that comes. I have been blessed beyond I can even think about. Vision for Africa for me is more than an organization. It's more, it's more of like a home to me. I love Vision for Africa so much. I take Vision for Africa as my mom. I take Vision for Africa as my dad. I take Vision for Africa as my everything. Beyond education, beyond 
all these things. I know one thing for sure that God saved me and that's more important. I know that I have been blessed. My Mary has blessed me, my sponsors. Oh man, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can only tell God how grateful I am. And guess what? God has already started using me. God gave me a child to sponsor and that is a seed. Because of what my sponsor through Vision for Africa did to me, it really gave me courage to extend a hand of helping to other children. You send, I don't know, the euros, dollars, that means a lot to me and probably other kids out there. It's doing a lot, a lot than you can ever think about. I know someone somewhere out there sent their money, they paid for me school fees and I'm forever grateful for that. I mean, look at me now. Life was so bad, it was just a miss. But right now I'm very happy, I'm excited, I have bigger dreams. I can't wait to be a blessing out there to someone else because someone somewhere paid for me, so I really also want to be a blessing to someone. So it is really a good thing to sponsor children. Me, I'm a testimony myself. I had no hope. Total, I was hopeless. I mean, I had no hope at all. I was useless. But right now, I can work with people with masters. I can sit next to people with degrees, with bachelors. It was because of your money, the person who sponsored me. And I would like to appreciate so much. The only reward you're going to get is only God who knows it. No human being knows it. No, Ma Maria doesn't know it. Me, Julia, I don't know it. Even other people do not know it. But God, the creator of heaven and earth, knows it. If you are out there and you would love to sponsor a child in Visual for Africa, please feel free to contact us. Feel free to sponsor a child because it is really real. I would want to see everyone get a chance like I did to go to school and learn something, you know. It's everything.